Amici di Address Italian! Amici di Address Italian! Amici di Address Italian! It's a big, big pleasure for me to share with the whole world the authentic Italian beauty in Udine, one of the most beautiful cities of Italy. Have a look how many lions of St. Mark we are surrounded by. We are in a typical Venetian square, but we are in another region. We are in the region of Friuli, Venezia, Giulia, where the capital is Trieste. This is the second biggest city of Friuli, Venezia, Giulia. And it's so important, so famous for many, many things we will discover together. So let's start properly. So comment with your city, share this live. And if you support the Unstoppable Address Italian Tour, send me stars. Let's see, we'll be the first one to send stars. Andiamo. So let's start properly this uh, live with this great great construction that is called as Porticato di San Giovanni or Logge di San Giovanni. Logge in Italian is when you see the arcades. This is a loggia of 11th century built by the architect Giovanni da Udine. In particular the tower is Giovanni da Udine architect, the same who built that castle over there of the 16th century. The tower is 16th century, belonging to the Venetian Republic time. Now, I would like to say thank you to Valerie Castagna, who just sent 500 stars. I want all of you to go and say grazie, grazie, grazie. I want all of you to congratulate with the first sender of the day, Valerie Castagna, with 500 stars. Andiamo. Now, the first curiosity is, I told you this tower is of the 16th century, built by Giovanni da Udine. I want to know from all of you if you have ever seen something similar in your life or better in our lives. So let's see if it reminds you something we, we have already seen. Over there you can see the two mori. This version in bronzo is from the 19th century before they were with wood. It's the same, almost the same in St. Mark's Square in Venice. Giovanni da Udine took inspiration in the 16th century from the most famous one in Venice. The same clock, same Mori, the dark man with the belt. So, Porticato di San Giovanni, Porticato del Lionello. Have a look how beautiful these arcades are. We are in a very Renaissance and Gothic city. So, this is called, this architecture, Gotico Veneziano. Venetian Gothic. So, now what we are going to do? We are going to come down. We are in Piazza della Libertà. Buongiorno a tutti. I'm so happy to be here with you. We are in Piazza della Libertà. We will go to discover the beauty of, of Udine. Why Udine is so famous? Because it's 20 kilometers far away from the border with Slovenia and 50 kilometers far away from the border with Austria. So you can understand it's an important city where to pass to arrive to the east of the of the Europe. And from the very beginning of history, it was contended between the Barbars. The most famous one is Attila, the king of Huns. Re Attila degli Uni. It's said that uh, in this hill Attila 
was looking the city of, of Aquileia, where we have been and we saw the Roman sites with the columns. He was watching the city of Aquileia burning from here. Burning with the same fire he turned on. This is uh, the history. Now, let's walk uh, nelle logge di Lionello. Come with me, we go around. Always with me, the most beautiful photographer, Anais. Ciao, Anais. Ciao, thank you. So, let's go. Oh, my foot is feeling much better today. Built with white and pink stone. And remember, guys, when we see an Italian flag, remember how lucky we are to travel under the blue sky of Italy. Now, we are 1,000. Let's count down from 10 to zero. If we are right to 10,000 stars, it means you like what I'm showing you and we will go on. Otherwise, I will go live again at 4.30 p.m. Italian time. Let's count down. 10. Andiamo. Here you can see the statues of Ercole and Caio over there. The lions are marked everywhere. Why everywhere, guys? It's simple because from 14th century till 18th century, there was the Republic of Venice. The Republic of Venice, as you know, arrived till the region of Lombardy. Thank you, Anna Moshika, for 500. Eight. It arrived till Soncino. We have been to Soncino where there is the castle, the Sforza castle. So it was very huge. It was the most important commercial power of uh, the Renaissance, let's say like that. So Udine belonged to the Republic of Venice from 15th century, from the very beginning of 15th century till the end of the 18th century. In particular, to be precise, for from 1420 till 1792. Va bene? Andiamo. You can see these uh, arcades everywhere. After, in the end, we will go on top of uh, the castle of Udine. We are 3,000. Let me say thank you to all of you who are supporting this live. Anna Moshka, 1,500, and Han Halle, Han Halle, 1,500, on memory of our fallen soldiers. We will pray for all of them because today, Memorial Day, unstoppable Han. Today is the Memorial Day for the United States. Soldiers who fought also for the Italian liberation from Nazi fascist, fascist. Talking about Nazis, you must know, guys, that Udine was occupied by the Third Reich, so by Hitler, in 1943 and became free in 1945. Now, you are watching the main shopping street. We left the Loggia del Lionello and we are walking in the so-called Via Mercato Vecchio, Mercato Vecchio Street. Be careful with the beauty of the palaces and let's go forward with the countdown. Seven. Monte di Pietà, il Palazzo del Monte di Pietà, where you could bring your golden goods, such as necklace, bracelets, in exchange of money. If you could repay the, the borrowed money, you could take back your golden stuff, okay? But you could bring not only gold stuff, also uh, pieces of furniture, uh, something with value. Monte di Pietà. And there was the church. Inside there is a wonderful church that now it's closed, called the Chiesa di Santa Maria del Monte di Pietà. You see, 
This is 17th century, it's simply stunning beauty. Thanks God we can see from the windows, you see? Let's go forward with the, the countdown. Six. If we arrive to 10,000, we go on. Otherwise, I will reconnect at 4.30 p.m. Italian time. Five. Four. You see here there are, we miss 6,000 stars to arrive to 10,000. All the best shops are here. It's like the city of Bologna, the city of Mantova, Padova. The beauty of Italy is in the borders because it's like every city has some influences from the borders. Here we can see Gothic, Venetian Gothic style. We can see the Renaissance style of cities like Mantova, and we can see these arcades typical of the Renaissance and of the cities such as Bologna, Padova. It's simply too beautiful to be real. Over there, the library, the municipality library, Let's go on with the countdown. Five. We miss now 4,000. And thank you to Franca Cola, my Franca Cola, who just sent 2,000 stars, to Melio Rosco, Grigo 1,200, and Han Mojica, 500 stars. Everyone goes and say, unstoppable Franca, unstoppable Franca, all together. Unstoppable Franca. Unstoppable Franca. And unstoppable Meili Orozco. Greek. Kalia Lidaki, 500 stars. Unstoppable Kalia, thank you. Unstoppable Franca. And unstoppable Meili. Now we are discovering every single corner. Have a look. How cute, how curated, how colored, how sunny this city is. Now we are reaching another important square. We miss now 3,300. Let's keep going with the countdown. It's important to support guys because everything is very expensive to travel. And as I told you in the very beginning, I'm out of my normal business of the magazine and of the e-commerce now. So I do this because it was my dream, but I can do only if you are next to me. Four. Three. Two. This is the fish market, you see? how curated it is. It's a fish market and it has this renaissance touch. Three, you see? There, renaissance and liberty palace. Okay. Three. Two. Andiamo, andiamo, we missed 3,000, let's go. Who is going to send 3,000? Thank you, Susan Lissenburg, for 500 stars. Thank you, thank you, Susanna Lissenburg. Listen the music, listen. Three, thank you, Anna Mojica, 1,000. Unstoppable Anna. Unstoppable Anna. Unstoppable Anna. And here we are in piazza Giacopo Matteotti guardate che bello 
We miss now 1000, unstoppable Anna Mojica and unstoppable Cassandra with 1000. Unstoppable Cassandra, unstoppable Cassandra, unstoppable Cassandra, all together. Unstoppable Cassandra. Unstoppable Cassandra, love you, Franca. Piazza Matteotti. The Virgin Mary over there. And now, what do you think if we enjoy a cup of coffee? Because we just arrived to 10,000 with uh, Meili Orozco Greek. So let's take a screenshot of Piazza Matteotti. You see the castle over there. After we will go on top of it. Let's take a screenshot with Meili Orozco Greek and 10,000 stars. Unstoppable Meili. Unstoppable Meili. Unstoppable Meili. Enjoy the beauty. Now I will take a screenshot of each, each, each of you who will send some stars. And uh, what do you think if we go for a cup of coffee? Yes. Yes? Yeah, in the coffee now. <laughs> Let's say all together, yes, let's coffee. It's so hot, huh? Yeah, it's hot, guys. 25 Celsius degrees. Summer is okay, re literally on the door. Let's go for a coffee. Let's enjoy this beautiful moment. Accarezzama! <laughs> Neapolitan songs, guys! Italy, at your feet! Or better! Italy at your fingertip. <laughs> All together, now I ask to send some stars for this peaceful, sunny Italian beauty. I will take a screenshot of each, each of you will send stars right now. Have a look to the palaces, how they are decorated, guys. You must know some uh, historical information about uh, Udia. I told you that it was part of the Venetian Republic uh, from 1420 till 1792. So, for the whole existence of the Venetian Republic, the longest Republic of the history, more than 400 years. After it became part of the na na uh, Napole of the French expeditions, because you know that uh, the soldiers of Napoleon came here, and the north of Italy, the whole Italy actually, was part of the French Empire. After na Napoleon, in 1866. Udine was part of the Italian reign, of the Italian reign. So Udine is part of Italy from 1866. That's why when you see the streets, there are two names, the Italian one and the, the Austrian name. You see, this is Piazza Giacomo Matteotti, but below there is Plaza San Giacomo Gia March Gatnuf. I don't know if it's Austrian or or uh, Slovenia, Slovenian language. I really don't, don't know that. The beauty of Udine is uh, in the heart. 
this is called uh, the city of Tiepolo, that is uh, a great Italian painter, and also the city of poetry. In fact, here and there, you will find these sentences and painted, such as uh, it's more difficult to renounce to love than the life itself. Okay, this is one of them. And uh, the beauty of the palaces, come with me. Now we stop for a coffee. Everything shines of beauty, every single corner, because where you see the plants, the flowers, it means you are in the beauty. Now come with me, I show you the external and the internal side. Here you see other poetry and painted. Have a look at the canals, like in Treviso. You see the canals, how beautiful it is. Che bello! Let's ride to 20,000 right now. Buy in the city. Money the fuel. Everything speaks of beauty. Here there are some poetries. You see? Accarezzama! So from one to 10, how much you are enjoying this life? From one to 10, say. Of course, they drink a lot of wine. The typical wine from Fiula is Ribolla Gialla. Ribolla is the typical wine from Fiuli. Flowers everywhere. There are 12, 22 Celsius degrees. Have a look to that olive tree just over there. For example, the Italian street is via Polan, eh, sorry, via Antonio Zanon. The oldest name is Plaza de Dal Polan. I think it's the local dialect. Now let's enter again. You see flowers everywhere. Let's enter in this beauty and let's go. Let's go. Oh, I saw a 500, yellow 500, amore, guarda. Wow, bellissimo. The colors are happiness. The canal. Guarda, tutto molto bello. This is called the Galleria Il Lavoratore, the Worker Gallery. Unstoppable Debbie Vogan, Unstoppable Debbie Vogan with 1000 stars, Unstoppable Debbie, Unstoppable Debbie all together, Unstoppable. Debbie, unstoppable Debbie, all together, unstoppable Debbie, we are 12,000 stars. Let's arrive to 20,000 right now. So, I want to talk about uh, the Facebook official fan club. All the communication when I go live, if I anticipate, if I posticipate, are on our Facebook official fan club. So, Take care always of the official fan club. The official fan club, guys, I say it publicly, is an happy place where we share positivity and, uh, most important, uh, we share original contents. It means if you want to share the landscape, uh, something uh, posi positive, uh, happy of your daily life, uh, you are allowed to because uh, it's something you produce. It's not allowed to 
share contents of the other page for two very simple reasons because the first one we have to advertise the address italian fan page this is the main reason the second one is also a matter of copyright we cannot uh, take uh, from the web some pictures and post on that because this is not allowed so as i'm sure i'm surrounded by very smart people this is the reason why i never set some rules uh, to public officially we are not so strict guys we are smart guys so there are people who were posting about uh, priors who, who could have something with children this is disgusting guys this world is not so beautiful as italy with blue sky also in italy there are very very sad and bad things we try and we do our best to share the positivity because we have like we say in italian le palle piene the balls full of shit so let us do something good for this world we we have the balls full of shit so we want to be surrounded by the beauty like this blue sky so please do not share contents of the others only content you produce or the screenshot you take from the live that is very good and share the positivity happiness we don't care about the war because there are other channels where it's right to share contents from the war okay so we share only the beauty this is my philosophy who likes can stay with us who doesn't like can go somewhere else va bene okay now let's sit and have a coffee ombra ombra ombre ombre ciao mettiamo qua l'ombra possiamo chiedere due caffè vuoi un bicerin de vin si sì, dai due due ribolle se ce l'hai con la vini va bene si sì, si sì. e, e il caffè espressi espressi a voi so share only contents you produce or screenshot by the live do not share other pages do not share negativity we are in udine we are 12 thousand stars thank you charlis ah Ooh, che giornata! Before I left my sunglasses at that pizzeria, assai, there, there is the best pizza, Neapolitan pizza of Udine. We have the same pizzeria in Milan, so I suggest you to go there. And they are very, very honest. They are all Neapolitan. I left my sunglasses, and they are expensive sunglasses, Cartier sunglasses, okay? I left them. When I was on top of the castle to check up the situation, I remembered that uh, I left my sunglasses. I said to Anais, please go there and uh, ask for the glasses. They gave us back the glasses. So I appreciate uh, the honesty, as you know, and I want to advertise them because they've been honest. I went there and I found my glasses back. Okay, 12,000 stars, let's arrive to 20,000. We are very, very slow today. Maybe you don't like Udine. So, let's play a game. If we are right to 20,000, by the waiter, bring us the wine so we can cheers all together. We go on. Otherwise, I will reconnect as scheduled at 4.30 p.m. Talking about uh, the time. You see how sunny it is. Sometimes I decide to anticipate or to participate according to the sun. If I see that the light, the colors are perfect, as you saw in the light, sometimes I prefer to modify the schedule at time. This because I want to offer you the best experience. Or also because I discover new places, new things. So I need the time to do everything. So this is life, guys. This is nothing planned everything is very spontaneous so you will excuse me if sometimes i change the plans now all together we miss 7000 let's arrive to 
20,000 stars. I will stay silent till we arrive to 20,000. And when we arrive to 20,000, I will cheers with all of you. Unstoppable Charlize. I will talk only when you send stars now. Unstoppable Charlize till 20,000. We miss now 5,400. Unstoppable Charlize all together. Wow. Now we will go to pray inside the cathedral of Udine. A stop for Charlist. Grazie, grazie, Charlist. A stop for Debbie Vaughan. A stop for Debbie. Yes, guys, when you see honest people talking about a topic we already had about the trust you trust better to this word eh? because the more you go in these places the more you understand how trustable these cities are and when i see this kind of cities i think it will be a great place where to live forever no crime nothing bad around just very classy people i was saying to Anais before, have a look to the windows of the shops. There are no kitsch clothes. So nothing out of the out of the line. Very classy and wonderful place. So I love the peace of these places. Tajvoluto Benasai. Tajvoluto Benasai. This is fat and I've asked No, senti? Distrattamento pienza me. We are 21,000 stars because, and the wine just arrived because Debbie Vaughan just sent 5,000 stars. Ti pago subito? please. Sono italiano, sono italiano. Ah, no, sentivo parlare un po' un po'. Sì, sì. Fino a 25 senza più, vero? Sì. Oppure sai che fai? Vuoi fare questo? Grazie, arrivo. Eh. Unstoppable Debbie. I want all of you to say Unstoppable Debbie. Unstoppable Debbie. 5,000 stars. Screenshot taken with Debbie Vaughan and 20,000 stars with the wine. Anna Soviska, 500 stars, thank you. 20,000 screenshots taken with Debbie Vaughan. Thank you, Surya, for 530 stars. Surya, thank you, Anna Soviska, 500. Thank you, Melio Rodsko, 1,200. And here comes the screenshot with Debbie Vaughan and uh, Piazza Matteotti. So, another, another big shot sent by Tami Respas, 1000. Pazzo Coppola, 830 stars. Catherine Ferris Gargano, 530. You are indeed unstoppable. Cheers to all of you. Cheers to Debbie Vaughan. Cheers to Tami Respas. Cheers to each of you who supports this wonderful adventure tour around Italy. Salute a voi, amici. Salute ad Anais. Yeah.
te voglio appena sai ma tu non me ne vuoi a me <laughs> I'm singing the same song of our friend over there I paid cash you know why firstly I gave my card and after I changed the idea because I had 20 years and I want to give uh, more money to that uh, man over there because you know what when you find on your way on our way when we find something or someone that uh, give us a smile give us a, a pleasant moment it can be the theater it can be Vincenzo it can be the 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 TV it's right to pay for what make us happy okay it's right because we all work like that it's a the ideal society where everyone is at the right place doing the right thing salute salute them e adesso let's enjoy the cafe We are 24,000 stars. Let's arrive to 30,000 stars. Grazie, buona grazie a te, grazie. Yesterday, me and Anais, we were at Bibione, that is the last uh, sea town of Veneto region on the border with Friuli. We went there late afternoon and uh, We were at a beach club uh, and we ordered uh, a spritz and a glass of wine. When the wine arrived, uh, we saw that it was, it was good. And very, very, a, lo a lot of wine in the glass. And I say, mm, it's good, this wine. When the, the girl brought the bill, it was two euro, guys. Two euro for a glass of wine. And Bibione together with the Lignano Sabbiadoro, these are the most famous uh, sea places where to go in summer in Veneto and in Friuli, so to Europe. I say, what the fuck? And we order another one. And it was a very funny moment because we were just me and there enjoying the moment. Exactly, exactly. Bibione was so empty, paradise. You know Bibione, because in Bibione there are many German people. That's why Debbie knows. Bon café. Hope you are having your own one. Bon café. Now, I will dedicate a cheers to each of, each of you who will send 1,000 stars. Andiamo. bella vita italiana eh? the good Italian life honestly the only thing I don't like about this situation are those pink hair <laughs> everything is perfect except that the pink hair I'm gonna do like this Yeah, and now we saw the blue one. <laughs> it's it's trendy here. We're gonna go for green then. Anais want to be green and single. <laughs> Anais want to be green and single. <laughs> the nuts are inside the crudino. The Campari. <laughs> no, Campari e Campari. Campari e Campari. La... Si fa lo spritz col Campari, esatto. o con l'apero o con col Campari. Campari. Il Campari è molto... Non mi... Se a me è completamente diverso. Una più dolce. Di... Agli ubriaconi piatti. Mm. Oh, thank you, Tammy Respas. My relatives live in Utile, Massimiliano Fazio, Francesca Frazio and Maria Fazio. 
Ciao and cheers to the relatives of Tami Respas in Udine. Salute! Guys, now, if in the next one minute we arrive to 30,000, I decide I'll do something cool for you. We will visit a very cool and tasty, tasty place. We miss 5,000 stars. Dammi il cellulare, amor. Qualsiasi, qualsiasi. It's uh, 3.12. If by 3.13 we arrive to 30,000, not only we will complete the tour of uh, Udine, but we will go live from another place. Let's go. At 3.13, if we see 30,000, we will see a very tasty place. Boom! Unstoppable Debbie. And cheers to Tammy Respas. Now we miss 4,000. If by 3.13, 4,000 missing. Andiamo, andiamo, andiamo. We miss 4,000. Good news about Bella, guys. The pieces to change the broken parts of Bella will arrive within this week, so it's likely in two weeks we will have Bella back with us. Boom! Boom, Tommy! Ciao Cata Maria. Stay with me. Un po' strana quella qua. Non si perda di sicuro. Stai, stai che arrivo. Come with me, guys. Possiamo fare Anna Mecore? Ah, una napoletana. O una italiana italiana. Tutte femmine vanno a murare. O Saracina, tutte femmine fanno mura e belle facce. Bocchio scarciando il sole in faccia, ogni uoglione sa picce so vero guarda. La sigaretta a moc, la mano di indasac, e se ne va a sparsarsi per tutta la città. O Saracina, o Saracina. Bello uoglione, o Saracina, o Saracina, tutte femmine fanno a murà. E una pionda se ne mora, e se femmine che le fa? 28,000, we missed 2,000 to arrive to 30,000. Ok, 
I will reveal you where I will go later because I love to surprise you, you know. Later we will go. Let's see if you are able to guess where we will go. I give you an hint. It's a very tasty place, not beautiful, tasty, very tasty. And it's in Friuli, very close to it, Udine. 40 minutes far away from Udine. In the meantime, cheers to Judy Burgese, Debbie Vogan and Antoinette Zanotti who sent respectfully 500 stars each. Salute! I give you an hint. Where is your cap for donation? 2,000 stars. My cap? <laughs> Salute Debbie. This is British humor. <laughs> Salute Debbie. Cheers to 2,000 stars sent by Debbie Voga. Unstoppable Debbie. Unstoppable Debbie. 30,000 stars. So, this town is the name of a saint. And this town, they produce one of the most famous Italian food in the world. It's an Italian excellent. Are you able to recognize what I'm talking about? Are you able? Have you ever heard about uh, San Daniele? Have you ever heard about uh, San Daniele? If yes, about what? Answer. Andiamo, amore. Brava, Ciocio, brava. Andiamo. Exactly, Brian. San Daniele Ham, together with the Parma one, is the tastiest, most famous Italian ham in the world. We will go to San Daniele town to see where they produce the Italian ham. And I will buy a lot of it because I'm a great consumer of prosciutto italiano. Anais can confirm. And yeah, now you will see a piece of prosciutto here. I will show you. You see? Prosciutto San Daniele. We will go in San Daniele del Friuli. Va bene? Now, if you are enjoying this live, I asked which each of you, you see Mont Blanc, where we bought uh, the pen that Tammy Respas won in our two million live between Lake Como, Milano and Portofino. So this is the palace of the Meyer that is called Palazzo di Aronico. 1932. Wow. Now from Via Cavour, we will go 
to the cathedral of Udine. Andiamo. If you like what I'm showing you, send me stars. You see the angel on the church next to the castle. I due mori, the two dark men who are ringing the bells. After we will listen the bell ringing. Andiamo, andiamo. Let's go towards the beauty. Tiene capilla ricce ricce, l'occhio scarciasse o cor in faccia, ogni guaglione sapicce se o vera passa, ca sigaretta mo, ca camana rinta sac, e se ne va sparciasse per tutta la città. O oh, Saracina, O oh, Saracina, a bello guaglione, O oh, Saracina. And here we are in front of the Cathedral of Udine, la Cattedrale di Udine. Now I would like to take for the book a screenshot with 40,000 stars. We miss exactly 10,000 stars to arrive to 40,000 stars. I really guess this is the right amount for this city. Let's see. We will send stars enough to arrive, enough stars to arrive to 40,000. When we arrive to 40,000, we go inside and we pray. Udine, a city with 100,000 people living here. The second biggest city of Friuli Venezia Giulia, after Trieste, the capital. Cattedrale dedicated to Santa Maria Annunziata, to the Annunciation. And you can understand that it's dedicated to the Annunciation because here, for example, you see the Angelo Gabriele, the angel, who gives the Annunciation to Virgin Mary, you see? La vedi l'Annunciazione lì, amor? With the dove, you see the dove, the symbol of the Annunciation. Ah, I love to connect all the dots with you. The architecture, when you see the bricks, it's a Romanic architecture. Let's see, let's hope it's closed. It's open, let's hope it's open, but it's closed. Peter, we will pray in San Daniele del Friuli, don't worry. Very, very beautiful. This is a so old construction, as I told you before, Romanic, of the 12th century. 12th century. Now, guys, I want to tell you more about Udine. So, you 
You must know that in Udine there was the birth of a so important scientist. This is a very cool curiosity that really impressed me. You must know that in Udine Let me remember the name of the scientist. Wait a second, guys. I have to check who discovered. I cannot find, I read before and I don't remember the name. Wait a second guys, I have to find it. Voila! Gaetano Perusini guys. Gaetano Perusini, who was born in Udine and he was the discoverer or the discoverer of Alzheimer sick. So the Alzheimer was discovered here in Udine by Gaetano Perusini. That was a, a curiosity that really impressed me because my grandmother died of Alzheimer. Let's hope that instead of discovering the <laughs> the malattia, the sick, the healedness, they will discover how to cure. Let's hope in the cure. Sorry for waiting, but I really didn't remember the name. Gaetano Perusini. Moreover, you must know that here in, uh, in Houdine, there was uh, the Friuli story of Romeo and Giulietta. So we are talking about uh, Lucina and Luigi belonging to two rivals families called Savornian and Da Porto. So here in Friuli there is something very similar to Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet in Verona, in Veneto. Here we have the Savornian and Da Porto family with these two guys. What to say about uh, the Savornian family? That uh, the symbol of the county of Udine is exactly the symbol of the Savornian family, white and black, with a crown and with uh, the tricolor, white, uh, red, white and uh, red, okay? Now, we go towards the castle of Houdin. Come with me. There are these wonderful arcades. We walk in the beginning. Now we will go through the stairs, upstairs, till the castle. That sadly today, it's closed, but you can visit it from Tuesday to Sunday from 10 to 6. Inside there are the paintings of Tiepolo and also of Caravaggio. I don't know if some of you will remember 
the old lira currency of Italy, behind the 100,000 lira, there was the death fruit by Caravaggio. You can see that painting in Milano at uh, Pinacoteca Ambrosiana, where inside there is also the Codex Atlanticus by Leonardo da Vinci. Now we go to the castle. Inside there is the museum. Ah, yeah. Thank you, Jacqueline, for 500 stars. Thank you to Debbie Vogan for 4,000 stars. Thank you, Debbie, for incentivating and pushing all of us to arrive to 40,000. This is the attitude I like. Unstoppable Debbie. Unstoppable Debbie. Unstoppable Debbie. Today you are quite slow, guys. It's the time, you just woke up in America. <laughs> ah, stop, Debbie. Let's go. This is the castle of Udine that it doesn't look like a castle. As you can see, it looks like more a noble residence, you see? But it's important to know that you have a wonderful view on the roofs of Udine. And from here, the women, Anais included, can see something interesting. Le Ciappette dei Mori. Right. Much better than mine. Actually, I'm arriving to that level <laughs> with all these kilometers walked. You see, Le Ciappette dei Mori, the houses of the two dark men. You see, we are really into a paradise. Now, I would like to arrive to 40,000 stars. Let's arrive, let's count down from 10 to zero. When we arrive to 40,000, the appointment is in one hour, que hora son, amor? The appointment is at 4.30 p.m. from San Daniele del Friuli. We will go where they produce the best Italian M. For sure the most expensive. More expensive than Parma M. We are talking about a difference of 10 euro per kilogram. Usually they sell Parma M for 30 euro and San Daniele M for 40 euro. Okay? So this is the difference in terms of price. Voila. The differences between taste. Parma M is sweeter. San Daniele is more salted. I prefer Parma M to be honest. But uh, for the technical production, San Daniele has that something more for the experts. I prefer Parma that is sweeter, but it's a matter of tastes. Okay, 35,000. Let's come down. We will circumnavigate the castle. See, these are the civic museums of uh, Udine. This palace has been built by Giovanni, Giovanni da Udine, the same architect who built the tower of the clock and he took inspiration by the one in venice when you go in venice next to the basil of san marco there is the, the tower of the clock with the two mori exactly like the one you just saw but the original original is in venice but then if you like it, this live show your appreciation with the, Sending stars over there, the angel that shows and protects the city. Have a look, such a beauty! This city, Chiesa di Santa Maria di Castello, and inside there are the Gothic frescoes. 
you see? Of course, many of you don't even know about the existence of a city like Udine. It's quite normal, guys, because there are places in Italy that are so beautiful, but so unknown. My purpose, let me sit because I'm tired. My purpose, when I started Idress Italian in the 2014, was to show to the world what the others didn't have the possibility or the courage to show because it's so easy to show Firenze, Capri, Portofino, Milano, Roma, Venice, very easy to show the very touristic place because they are peerless beauty. It's uh, less easy to show the unknown places. Of course, guys, this was my purpose from day one, when I started the Idris Italian, but to increase in terms of followers, I needed uh, very viral contents, and I could have very viral contents only with the very touristic places. So I started uh, showing uh, my way, always my way, with my touch, with my sign, with my signature, the very touristic places such as Capri, Positano, step by step, since I became very popular in terms of followers, we are followed by more than 4 million people now between Facebook and Instagram, I added enough number to show also the unknown places, and you can see that also the unknown places are worth a visit because a mission of a very Italian man like I am is to show the authentic beauty, not the most touristic one. I don't know if you agree with me. Welcome to the castle of Udine. Welcome to a beauty that has no equals. Now, if you like what I've been showing you till now, I would like to see all of you sending some stars for this great, great city. Hope you will come and visit Udine. Hope you will come and visit the paintings of Caravaggio and Tiepolo inside the castle and also inside the palace of the Mayor. Grazie a tutti. Grazie Anna Mojica for 500 stars. Ciao Sonia Ferrufino. Have a look from here, the highest point of Udine, you can see the wall city. And it was from here that Attila, the king of Huns, was watching Aquileia, where we have been burning with the same fire, he turned it on. I told you the history of Aquileia when we were there. That is the county, the symbol of Udine. You see, white and black. With the, the U on the opposite side. 37,000, here the tower. It's a unique, unique beauty, especially when it's sunny. We miss just 3,000 to arrive over there, Le Alpi Giulia. That's why Firuli, Venezia, Giulia. Over there, there is the border with Austria and Slovenia. Hope you enjoyed, guys. If you like it, send star because this is the last sip of Udine. We missed 3,000 to close perfectly with 40,000 stars. Imagine yourself having a walk, a so pleasure walk around this beauty.
And guys, while we go down, thank you, thank you to Debbie Vaughan for other 1,000 stars. Unstoppable. Debbie, unstoppable. Debbie, unstoppable. Debbie, thank you for your unstoppable support. While I will drive till San Daniele del Friuli, I would like to... I would like all of you to go and visit shop.edressitalian.com slash family. I put here in the pinned comments because I'm working to the new e-commerce of Address Italian where you will find the best selection of made in Italy region by region. It means you will click on the Friuli Venezia Giulia region and you will find the best products and services such as uh, the San Daniele ham, such as uh, the extra virgin oil, such as uh, the hotel rooms, the guide tours, the boat tours, everything of that region, of this region, as well as the same, the other regions. And who will sign up for free to our newsletter? by the end of August will be part of a very privileged list, my priority list curated by me myself. It means you will have some privileges such as permanent dedicated discounts, upgrades, special uh, previews. So you will be very privileged as members of the Address Italian family. That's why I call it the shop.addressitalian.com slash family. So now while I drive, go on shop.edressitalian.com slash family and uh, fill the form, okay? Name, surname, mail, gender and country. Va bene, while we admire the Tower Bell with the Lion St. Mark uh, built by Giovanni da Udine in the 16th century. Thank you, Bev Martinez, for 2,000 stars and Jared for 500 stars. Thank you, Bev. Thank you, Jared. Everyone goes and say, unstoppable Bev. And I take a screenshot with Bev Martinez, the flag of Italy and the tower bell of Piazza Libertà. Three to one, screenshot taken, unstoppable Bev. Guys, the appointment is in one hour at 4.30 p.m. Italian time from the city of San Daniele del Friuli. I love you and I thank the top supporter of this first part of the live, Debbie Vaughan, 15,500 stars, first position. Melio Rozco, 3,600 stars. Franca Cola, 3,000 stars. See you in one hour in San Daniele. We will have a slice of prosciutto. Grazie a tutti e a tra poco. Ciao.